Ready? I was born ready. Girls ready. What are we doing today, Sebastian? We have... We. Tell me more about this we that, that has a thing. Well... I don't think it's a we. So, my studio is like less than two blocks away from Barney's, San Francisco. And since they are closing out and going out of business... I was going to say, like, do we have to say R.I.P. or may she rest in peace or something like that? Rest in peace? Sad. Well, I'm saddened. Is. Anyway, for those of you who have been living under a rock, uh, Barney's is liquidating. Um, so I went there like probably three, four times. You hear the clinking. And I bought a bag full of... Yes. Perfumes. I did not do any such thing. I'm just here to enjoy the... Um, so today we're going to go through our Barney's... It's, this is Sebastian's Barney's My Barney's hall. hall. My Barney's liquidation hall. It's so if a you wanna, hall. Do you want to see these? Should they see it? They, they'll see everything very soon. Okay. Stay tuned. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Uh, yes, today we're talking about this big Barney's haul. Um, this was an all-purchase at once. I went there a couple times, and as they were reducing their uh, prices and offering additional discounts, I was taking advantage of the fragrances. And there are fragrances in here that cost upwards of $250 that were down to $50, $60. So I was grabbing as much as I can. Which is apparently a lot. There's a lot here. It, yeah, this is going to be a long video. Maybe pause, get a beverage. Make some popcorn. Snacks. But if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So I love discounted fragrances. I'm a discount shopper. I'm a coupon clipper. You know, this, do you like that to do, I do that? I do. I totally do. And it's... I it. Once you once you start using words like collection, then um, I think it's hard to. Well, I don't know. Probably there are some people who are paying full price for everything they buy, and I really do respect them. But I also am a discount shopper. I love to buy discounts. But anyway, let's get started because this is going to be a long video, and I think the first thing we're going to talk about is a bottle of Kinski from the folks who have the brand um, Eccentric Molecules. Okay. Are you familiar with Kinski? Never heard of it. You're going to like this. <laughs> Showing the price tag. I don't the know. price tag is back here. Yeah. <laughs> but that was not the price I paid. I think this was about $55. Wow. So this is a musk affair. Okay. A vetiver musk affair. It's interesting that it's called Kinsky because I was actually just thinking how rarely you see... Is it named after Nastasia Kinsky? No, I don't think that's actually her name. She was in that movie Cat People. Not like cats, I hope. Not cats. <laughs> no. Um, it's uh, made in England. Yeah, Eccentric Molecules is uh, from e England, uh, but it's actually a German uh, perfumer, Geza Schoen, who did this. Ooh, uh, that's the side. The nice little... The, the musk. It starts out very vetivery, but the musk develops. I'm actually going to put this one on because I really love this one and I hadn't opened it for a while. Some of the other fragrances were uh, open, but this one was not. Oh, this is a nice kind of almost green kind of clean. Wait, listen, smell the, smell the musk on me. That's delightful on you. It's almost like um, Frederick Mall's uh, Musk Ravageur, but with vetiver. There's nothing about this that makes me think... Of musk ravageur. Okay, yeah, it's, it's getting a little more funky on your skin right now, but it starts out very fresh and green. Um, do you like? I do. I, well, it's, it's completely different oh. on paper and skin. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty. Um, yeah, so Sebastian is bringing out the funk of Kinski. Um, the funk of Kinski? Yes. And Kinski funk. Have you heard of the Kinski funk trio? I have now. <laughs> uh, this is really nice. Good score. Yeah, I've been wanting a bottle of this for the longest time. I never bought a bottle. I'm like, ooh, they only have one bottle left. And it's like 70% off. So it was, like, it's it was like the Simpsons and you just like, yoink. Yes. Nice. Next up is a fragrance from a house called uh, 1969. It's a Swedish house. And sadly, Barney's had just brought this in and they went out of business. Oh. This is called Chronic. 
I don't, I've, I've seen this in like magazines and stuff, this line, but I haven't actually gotten my nose on them. I first sampled this line at Lucky Scent in LA, DTLA, and I liked a few of them. This is one of them that I liked, Chronic. That's like the color that Kinski should be when you first smell it. Green like that, right? Right, but then it very quickly changed to um, some funky fabulousness on you. Here you go. What am I expecting here? I think we're expecting um, cannabis. <laughs> oh. well, or that... something in that ballpark. Not... I mean... It's green and herbal, but I'm not... It is green and herbal, but I don't strictly get uh, cannabis cannabis from this one. Um, what do we get? Uh, it's very outdoorsy, actually. Oh, it's green. Mm -hmm. For sure. We need to do like a green list reboot. We do need to do a green list reboot. Or just an addendum. Addendum. It's a good word. <laughs> okay, that's 19... 69 and it's uh, chronic. All right, I'm I'm doing the bottle uh, boxes uh, first, uh, then we'll do the, the loose bo uh, bottles. Um, so this is from the House of Healy. It's called Oranges, Oranges and Lemons Say the Bells of St. Clements. Which is from a nursery rhyme, I believe. I don't really remember nursery rhymes. <laughs> Maybe a British nursery rhyme. Or is it because James Healy is British? Almost certainly. But he's based out of Paris. It can't be helped. <laughs> All right, this is a, an ultra citrusy eau de cologne type of a floral citrus fragrance. I love the way it smells, and I've wanted a bottle. And this was about 70% off from its like $200 price tag. Nice. Oh yeah, but there's something else there with the citrus. There's mm. something sort of... Um, I think there's pedigrain. It smells like pedigrain to me. That could Do you know be what pedigrain is? I don't know pedigrain. Pedigrain is the orange leaves of the orange tree. There is something sort of... Um, bitter. Bitter, medicinal, yeah. herbal. Yeah. I love this. If you guys don't know this one, this is, this is awesome. This is what you're going to be wearing all summer, I'm I guessing. I think so. Yeah. yeah, nice. But we don't have to go to the box ones next. This was actually a tester that I bought for... It was $85 marked, and I think I got a discount on it, so it was down to $50, and it's a little bit used. And this is also from the house. It's called Note de Yuzu. Is that what it says? It does say that. Okay. And it's for... But um, it's with Maison Kitsune. Maison Kitsune, yes. Which, um, apologies to the Maison if that is not how you say your, your whatever. I love Kitsune. They have a... They release a music, and I love all the music that they release. Very edgy, indie, electronic... I like all those things. This is very light, fresh. Yeah, yuzu. Yeah. Anyway, note to yuzu. It has something else, almost like an anise in it, though, or like a. It might be like a pumplemousse or like a um, grapefruit. grapefruit. Yeah. Oh, maybe. A little bit. Maybe. So this was a Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. But anise and grapefruit are completely like. Oh, there was a little anisey thing in there. I can, I'll give you grapefruit, but also... I think I get a little anise, too. Okay, I feel yeah. better. Yeah, Moving there's, on. There's a little anise. So this is uh, Tiziana Terenzi's uh, fragrance Foconero, and it was about 50 bucks for this. Stop it. Yeah. You had so much fun. But you know what? It was not a very pleasant experience, because people were like, ah, this, that, Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. And the line is out the door. This one, I don't know if you're going to like it. Okay. Is it a gourmand? No, it's a salty aquatic. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe you do. It's not. It's, I, I don't know if you like this kind of fragrance, but you probably like it. I don't know. I, I like a lot of things that Anna Terenzi do. Does? It does. Do. Do. Because it's not, I mean, Paolo is an individual, but Anna Terenzi is a plural. Yeah. So Focanero is a salty, woody... Focanero. Focanero. Oh, okay. That's, did I break it? It just came off. That's why it was discounted. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it still works. No, it still works. We'll just give you that. Foconero. Thoughts? It's not your top, cup of tea. There's lots of salt here. There's some aquatic touches, but there's also something like green, almost like seaweed it's very light and it's very nice and i 
It's very light and nice. Mm -hmm. It's almost like there's also a little bit of mint in there or something. Something, not mint though. Herb of some kind. Like a sea herb. That That's grows. been the theme of this so far. There's a mysterious herb here in yeah. your hall. <laughs> from the San Francisco Barneys. All right, now, so these are the testers. <laughs> the There's mic, a lot of stuff in here. Is the mic picking up all this clanging? Pro probably. <laughs> so this is a fragrance I've been wanting for the longest time, and I finally got it as testers from Barney's. This is uh, Vetiver Oriental from, uh, I got two bottles, from the house of Serge Luton's. But look at this, the color of the juice, they're so different. One's like a purplish and the other one's greenish. So different concentration, not concentration, but different formulations. You take that one, I'll take this one. Or one of them was in the sun or something. Oh, crap. What? Is there sun in Barney's? No, it was in a basement, but you don't oh, know. Oh, I love this one. Finally have it. I love this one. That's nice. Here, swap. Yours is better. What's wrong with it? This one is just sort of lighter. Or maybe you sprayed 17 times and I only sprayed one. Oh, I sprayed three times. Pushed it. <laughs> nice. 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 The one, keep the cap on, I guess. I think that one might be the, use this one first and that one second. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. The colors are different. The name's the same. The Adventures of Tester Acquisition. Yeah, so this is... Wait, wait. There's more. Way more. So, I've always had a bottle of... Comme des Garçons Incense Avignon. And I've also worn a bottle of Comme des Garçons Incense Zagorsk. I don't have a bottle of Zagorsk anymore. I still have a bottle of Incense Avignon. But these were marked at $50. Plus I got an extra 10% off of them. Very nice. So um, I got them for about 45 bucks each. So uh, it's like their suggested retail hundred dollars I think these are. So incense is Zagorsk, which I know you like. Do you like incense? I really like Zagorsk and Avignon is a bit much for me uh, but um, I did get a friend of mine wearing Kyoto. Oh and I have Kyoto here. Oh that's so beautiful. Incense Kyoto like and then incense Jaisalmar. That's a score. You have the full set. I have the full set and there is one where Zazat is no longer that's a uh, I guess they, it got discontinued. Well, you've got to get a bottle as a. Oh no, it's no longer available anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere, or just maybe the Eves will have it. Ah, the Eves. <laughs> anyway, are you guys fans of the incense series from Comme des Garçons? I know we both have done incense videos. I think maybe we have to renew that video as well. Now that we have four incenses, or maybe we could just do a video on four of these. I think we could. Yeah. Anyway, incense Zagorsk. I love that name. Mm -hmm. Incense Avignon. I've been to Avignon. Incense Kyoto. I've never been to Kyoto. Incense Jai Salmar. I don't even know what that means. Mm -mm. <laughs> anyway. All right, so these are the Incense Avignon um, Incense series from um, Comme, des Comme des Garçons. I don't want to throw them down because they're going to break. Okay, so um, never spoken about Helmut Lang on the channel. This is the Eau de Cologne. Are you, are you familiar with Helmut Lang? Yeah, but more for the clothing. Mm. Oh, I like that. Let's find a... Thing. We're not smelling the incense series, sadly. No, we really know that one. Though. Yeah, we know those. We've, we've talked about that as a reference for so many other things that I feel like they're pretty widely available and um, almost like a, a reference, common common reference for, it's like the industry incense standard or something like, oh, well, it's more like this incense. Everybody looks to those to make their own incense. I really like this. You do? I really like that a lot. Oh yeah, there's a pepperiness there. It's very, um, I feel like you should be listening to Frank Sinatra or something like. Ooh, and I love the bottle. That is a sexy as hell bottle. It's nice, clean. And you can see that there's it's got a nice weight tester on it, on the cap part. Should we peel that off? Not on camera. I like that one. Very mm -hmm. masculine, kind of um, clean. All right, since we spoke about uh, Comme des Garçons. We have three more Comme des Garçons. I thought you, oh, you got Hinoki and Laurel. Nice. Hinoki, Laurel, and then this one right here, Standard. Do you know this one? I don't know this one, but I definitely know the Monocle series. You do know the Monocle series? I had Laurel for a while and then it smelled better on my brother, so I gave it to him. Oh. Which is annoying. You know, I mean, it's, <laughs> you know. So these were. See, this one was marked 100, and this one was marked 50, and I said, 
I'm buying this, please sell me this one for 50 as well. So I did, but I got an extra 10% off of these, so. This is nice. What does that smell like? I don't even remember what I bought. Um, oh, it's a little incense-y. Really? It is a little incense-y, but it's a very, very light touch. It's, um, it's very... It's standard. Er, it's very office safe. If you want to be in a churchy mood in, in the office, that's what it's you should It's just wear. like essence of incense. <laughs> All right, let's try these two. Oh my gosh, these ones are really good. I do like the Hinoki a lot. Should we start with that one? Yeah. Okay. What do you know about the monocle part of this partnership? I don't know about the monocle part of this partnership. Is that just a name or is it a... I don't know. Here's the Hinoki. Just put your finger right on where I spray. Mm. Here's a fresh one. Yeah, the Hinoki is, is a type of a Japanese cypress. And so there's a, there's a little bit of smoke running through this one as well. Mm -hmm. and, and then the oh, laurel. The laurel is just so fresh and um, pungent in a good way. And like... Um, Very peppery. Like you just broke a branch in front of your face. Ooh, like, I like that. I like that a lot. Laurel is beautiful. Yeah, I like that one. So luckily now I can get into the Comme des Garçons fragrances because I, I, I think this is a great brand. I, I feel like they have kept their freak flag flying. I think some other brands that are really widely known for being out there have mellowed. And Comme des Garçons is still doing really interesting, different fragrances. I like I that. Really freak flag. It's like your freak flag. But it's from a song. It is from a yeah, song. Anyway, these are the two Monocle series from um, Comme des Garçons. Score. Okay, let's move on to the house of Aqua di Parma. This is classic. So this is the classic Colonia. I seem to have bought a lot of uh, fresh citrusy kind of fragrances. You were in a in a citrus, yes. You know what we're going towards is spring and summer, so. Well, here we are in California and the rest of the country. This is annoying everybody, <laughs> quite probably. Yeah, it's a nice, clean citrus. Very, it's very classic. Very light, faint, office mm. safe. Yeah, definitely nice. And then this is Ambra, and then they use the ambergris in this fragrance, which I'm curious about ambergris. But this is more like an amber ambergris or ambergris amber. Also very light and very, I, again, I only did one spray. Girl. It's, oh, feel free, like I can hold something. <laughs> it's okay. No, that's good. They're, they're nice, light, really nice for hot weather, both of them. I haven't ever owned the Ombra. I've always wanted it, so here we are. But they're Eau de Cologne, both of them, right? Uh, these are, this is Eau de Cologne Concentrate, and this is uh, Cologne. So that makes sense, actually. Yeah, a little stronger, the darker bottles. And now these are black bottles. They're, they've gone from brown to black. Not sure why, but they did. So these two are from the house of Feng Dang. This is Craving, and this is uh, Liquid Red. These retail for four fifty. They were down to 100 they, plus these? I got an extra 10% off. Wait, what? These retail for four fifty. Uh huh. So they were marked down to a hundred. Wow. And then I got ten percent off of them. Wow. And then I said, this one's marked a hundred, and this one's marked one twenty-five. Please sell both of them to for me for a hundred. They did. So. Well, they they're they're not all four fifty. Is what I was gonna say. They are different prices depending on which ones and what ingredients. Are You're gonna in. like that one more than this one. This one's a little more gourmand. He's really actually usually dead on about what I will and won't like. So if anybody out there is watching being like, how do you know? He knows. This is about rose. It's a lipsticky rose. Oh, we have had a theme of that. So yeah, today. green and lipstick today. Oh, it's because Citrus. you were putting your lipstick on. I was doing that. <laughs> All right. So this one is liquid red, we said. Liquid red. Um, From Feng Dang, created by Bertrand du Chafour. I believe both of these are. This is very beautiful. It is, um, it's almost a, uh, it's, it's a twiggy rose, but lots of lipstick thrown in there too. Do you get that? I don't get lipstick specifically. I get, I don't know what you mean by twiggy rose, but it is a, uh, twiggy like as in branches. Yeah. 
not the actress sort of model. I was, I was sort of like, <laughs> do, are we friends? <laughs> and then this is Craving. I like, I like that. Uh, I think I, I remember you liking this some time ago. It wasn't, no, that wasn't the one I went crazy over. Oh. But it is nice. Okay. It's, um, all right, and then this one is Craving. And it's a gourmand, which is a cute name. Well, I think it's, yeah, I'm sort of gourmandish. But I don't think you're going to like it as much as you're going to like this one. It's nice. I don't like it as much as the first one. <laughs> I knew it! What else you got? Okay, so now we have the diptyque section of the video. Ooh, dang. You cleaned out. Well, so this is a, a fragrance I wore back in 2000. Whenever they launched it, I bought it. And I wanted another bottle. So this is called 34 Boulevard St. Germain. Oh, that's lovely. That's very nice. So we have a fragrance called Volutes, which is discontinued in the Eau de Toilette, and they had a tester there, and I bought it. It's a tobacco. Nice. And then this is the EDP version of Volutes. Are we going to do a comparison? We could. Mm, that's nice. And this is an EDT version of Oduel, the vanilla, their vanilla. I have to show them. I, I, I know many people are familiar with the brand, but uh, Oduel has this picture. It's cute. Isn't that cute? I love the pictures on the back. Yeah. These I didn't notice. Oh, these are cute too. Yeah. They have those really cute drawings. Drawings. I can't Here, let me show them this yeah. one. All right. Volutes has this beautiful photo on the back. Uh, the Oduel is a little more gourmand. It's yeah, a... it's a spicy vanilla. And then the Pacho had to have a backup of his... Tempo! That's ranked very highly on lists uh, that have related to the patchouli. Have you smelled their Old Capital? No. Fuck, it's so good. It's like this with roses. It's a sheep rose. It's amazing. Okay. It's even better than the Tom Ford rose prick. <laughs> prick? You don't know about Tom Ford's rose prick? No. Well, you know he was fucking you fabulously. Then you lost your cherry, and now he's giving you a rose prick. <laughs> and he's so cool. That's okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. You've done very well with dip tea. All right. We do have one mess up, though. We'll talk about that at the very end. Yes. So they had... They weren't really selling these, but they did sell them finally. They had testers of Frederick Mall. I bought a, a Musk Ravageur for 150. Oh my goodness, what a score. And then I did buy an Accord Oud for 175, which I thought this was not a deal because I could get it from Europe for a little less, which I thought this was a failure as far as deals go. But I got such better deals on those. But this was the major disappointment, unfortunately. A tester of Bay Rose, which smells like Frickin nail polish remover it has gone bad or something mm -hmm. so unfortunately i tried getting it returned but it's final sale so i'm kind of stuck with pickle juice or nail polish remover ah uh, it's pretty bad so it's disappointing it's disappointing but look at the wonderfulness i did i did score i got some great stuff now we can do lots of videos we we can and will okay um i feel like home de garçon is going to be a um yes topic. I know, especially since we did a video for copper. Oh, that's right, we did. And um, and we've mentioned the incenses before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one called concrete. Oh, I have amazing green. Oh. And I have floriental. Okay, those were there. Well, I have them already. You do have them. And there was something else I think I have from them. But copper is so good. It is. It's very, I we talked about the name. Uh, I struggle with the name, but it's you know what I think of Dick Tracy that's really random because they use the word copper for cops oh that's not helpful <laughs> anyway Thanks on that note watching thank you so much for watching this haul video my liquidation Barney's haul video guys if you have any questions or comments about these fragrances let me know do you like any of them and what do you think about the the pricing for the fragrances did I score or did I spend too much you know you scored did I did I Mess up with that weird pickle juice. Yeah, that's a shame. That one. I'm answering all his questions for the comments. Sorry, I mean, guys. You should comment anyway. This this is refillable, which means they'll have to... Because these bottles are refillable. And I can go to any store once I have a bottle to mm -hmm. refill it. But I feel like it's going to cost me 
more now to refill this, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm stuck with it. I basically paid two hundred dollars for a bottle. Well, it's one of those without a cap. Lesson learned, I guess. Lesson learned. Smell yeah. before you buy. When you do this kind of shopping, make sure you smell. And if it's still around, around or open around you, Barney's, make sure you smell all your fragrances. Don't rush out like me. Absconded with your bag of <laughs> testers. <Mine. laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.